as the fuel in the tank gets over the moving car on the road stops as soon as the fuel is refilled then it starts moving again what does fuel have which enhance the motion of the car as we have seen in a previous videos too that electric generator generates electricity generator changes mechanical energy into electrical energy now the question arises what drives the generator do we put fuel in the tank of the generator too which helps in rotating the shaft of the generator it would be correct to say that there is something in the fuel which enhances the motion of the shaft and the car actually fuel has some form of energy stored in itself which transfer it to the engine of the car and generator it's all about energy only we are surrounded by various forms of energies in the world let's take another example to understand this concept better we eat food when we feel hungry after eating we feel fulfilled this food helps us in doing different work like studying playing and walking food is a source of energy which provides power to our bodies and with the help of that energy we do various work can we produce energy No, we can't produce it. We can only change one form of energy to another. According to the law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, only can be changed from one form to another. Let's take an example of potential and kinetic energy. We did some work to put this ball on the top of the slide. Due to this work done, a difference in height is obtained, which gives this ball some potential energy. If we push this ball a bit, then the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. If this ball collides with a bunch of sticks and the sticks fall apart, here the kinetic energy of the ball did some work on the sticks to pull them apart. Let's understand the whole chain again. Firstly the work is converted into potential energy secondly potential energy is then converted into kinetic energy thirdly kinetic energy is converted into some work again this rule is followed by everyone and everything in this world change of one form of energy to another is known as transformation of energy If we look closely then from a moving bicycle to the moving car from a moving train to a flying aircraft from cooking the food to the energy taken from that food each and everything is an example of transformation of energy There are basically two kinds of sources of energy in the world one conventional sources of energy two non-conventional sources of energy In today's video we we'll learn about the conventional sources of energy those sources of energy which we have been using for centuries are known as conventional sources of energy like fossil fuels thermal power plant hydro power plant biomass and wind energy let us understand what fossil fuels are millions of years ago living beings living in the world got buried under the various layers of earth due to high temperature and pressure some of them got converted into petroleum and others got converted into coal in india 70% of the total consumption of energy is covered by coal petroleum and natural gas coal is the largest source of carbon coal when burns in air reacts with oxygen present in the air to form carbon dioxide Various components of petroleum like petrol, diesel, etc. are used in different ways as per their needs. This coal is used in thermal power plants to generate electricity. Let's understand the thermal power plant closely. Thermal power plants generate 50% of the total electrical energy worldwide. It has majorly five components: boiler, turbine, condenser, generator, and transformer. The burning coal in the boiler heats up the water in the tubes and converts it into steam. This steam is responsible for rotating the turbine due to the increase in pressure. Another end of the turbine is connected to the generator. Generator converts its mechanical energy into electrical energy. This electrical energy is then transmitted via transmission line to reach different grids. 
and the steam gets condensed with the help of the condenser and sent back for reusing. This is the cheapest and easiest way to generate electricity because water and coal are available in abundance. But it is one of the major causes of air pollution too. Next conventional source of energy is hydropower plant. In hydropower plants, a dam is built on a river and water gets stored at a place. The river has to go through many tests before the final approval of the dam. Due to the difference in height, water stored at the highest point got potential energy. And then through a special area, water is flown in the downward direction. The potential energy of water gets converted into the kinetic energy. This kinetic energy helps the turbine blade to rotate, which is then connected to the shaft of the generator. Generator converts the mechanical energy from turbine to electrical energy. This is then sent forward with the help of transmission lines. The pros of this source of energy is that there is very less pollution and the cost is lower too. But one of the major cons of this source is that due to the construction of the dam, a large area gets sunk into the water. Due to this, people living there have to leave their land and surroundings also gets affected by this. Another form to convert the energy is by biomass plants. We have seen dried cow dung and the remains of agriculture is used as a fuel in villages. But there is a lot of air pollution due to this activity and less energy is received. To convert more amount of energy, huge biomass plants are constructed. First step to construct a biomass plant is to dig a large hole in the ground which is known as digester. Cow dung and agricultural waste are filled with the water in the ratio of 1 is to 3 from the mouth of the plant. Then in the digester, anaerobic microorganisms that do not require oxygen decompose or break down complex compounds of the cow dung slurry. It takes a few days for the decomposition process to be complete and generate gas like methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide. The biogas is stored in the gas tank above the digester from which they are drawn through pipes for use. The remains can be used as fertilizers in the fields. The last source of energy is known as wind energy which can be found where wind flows swiftly. Large windmills are used to convert wind energy into electrical energy with the help of a generator. We enlightened many conventional sources of energy. In our next video, we will learn about the non-conventional sources of energy.